thank you for taking the time to uh, sit with me today. Um, would you like to introduce yourself and uh, tell us uh, your, your name, your industry, uh, technologies you like to use, and what inspires you in your work? Yes, of course, and thanks for inviting me, first of all. My name is Alessandro Del Sole, and um, I, have, I am um, a senior .NET developer and trainer and consultant. I work for a, a company based in Italy called Brainsys, and I have been a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional since 2008. Uh, I used to be a Visual Basic MVP, then the MVP program has been reorganized, uh, and now I am under the Visual Studio and Development Technologies category. Uh, I have been voted MVP of the year in, for five times. I'm also a Microsoft Certified Professional and Microsoft Specialist for C Sharp. And I am an author for uh, Sync Fusion's uh, Succinctly Series. I wrote four ebooks so far, but I'm working on uh, new ebooks that uh, will be coming up in a few months. In a few months, and um, I also like writing uh, technical articles. I wrote uh, a number of articles for important uh, websites such as MSDN Magazine, uh, InformIT, uh, the Visual Basic Developer Center, and so on. And I also like to produce instructional videos, uh, and Windows Store applications. And you can find me on Twitter at ProGalex. That's great. And, you know, we love having you on to, uh, to, to write our ebooks for us. We get a lot of great feedback on that series. Um, so thanks for being a part of that. Thank you. Thank you. So can you tell us uh, how long have you been using SyncFusion products, and what was the initial attraction? Yes, I have been using Syncfusion's product since uh, a couple of years, and uh, the initial attraction was uh, due to the fact that uh, the company was offering controls for WPF that uh, were very interesting to me and that I did not find uh, in, other, in other companies. So that was the, the reason why I decided to adopt Syncfusion's controls. Uh, more specifically, uh, I needed controls for Windows Presentation Foundation, and I found a good offer from Syncfusion. Well, that's great. We're so happy that you chose us. Um, which which product or which tool did you use? Yes, I wrote some applications at work with uh, with WPF and Essential Studio, but uh, uh, probably something that can be more interesting for the developer community is a free and open source tool that I called uh, Code Snippet Studio that I would like to introduce today, which is a free and open source project uh, that uh, allows developers to uh, easily create, edit, and package and share Code Snippets for Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. And uh, I made uh, intensive usage of some of the uh, controls for WPF uh, uh, offered by uh, Syncfusion Essential Studio. That sounds great. I mean, would you be able to show us your project in action? Yes, yes. So we have a couple versions of uh, this tool. One is an extension for Visual Studio, and one is a standalone application. So one important consideration at this point is that uh, if developers want to use uh, Essential Studio for WPF, they can do it uh, both for standalone WPF applications and uh, in Visual Studio extensions, which are based on WPF, basically. So, a great, a great opportunity that Visual Studio has been offering uh, since many years, since 2005, is the ability of uh, using uh, the so-called uh, um, intelligence code snippets. Let me show how this works. Let's create just a very simple, very simple project. Okay. So, one of the things developers do the most is uh, trying to reuse their existing code. So they take their code snippets and save them somewhere. Because of this, Microsoft introduced an important option into Visual Studio, which is the availability of the code snippets. So I can right click, select insert snippet, and then I can select from one of the available code snippets library, and I can create my own. So for instance, 
I can scroll a list and select a ready to use code snippet. Then I can also replace the highlighted text with a different type name or different identifier and so on. So the biggest benefit of this is that you can create your own code snippets that can be plugged into the code editor. The problem is you should do you should create your code snippets manually and this is based on XML complex uh, XML syntax. Uh, there is a number of tools that other developers created during the years to uh, to make this simpler. But one uh, one of the things I saw uh, that these tools were were lacking is the is the fact that they are not updated for Visual Studio 2015 or 2013. And they do not offer the opportunity of packaging code snippets into an installer. Visual Studio 2012 and 13 and 15 uh, rely on the VSIX format extension for uh, file format extension for installing code snippets. So I have created this tool that make it simple to create, edit, package, and share code snippets. So for example, I can write some code inside the, the code editor and you can see I have a very basic intelligence but this is very useful to make it simpler to uh, write a code snippet and I can go on or I can even open an existing snippet for convenience like this so this code editor is based on the syntax control, syntax editor control from Syncfusion. This is very helpful because it provides uh, syntax colorization for a number of programming languages and is extensible. If you need to use this control with a programming language that is not included out of the box, then you can create your own syntax rules. This tool supports some languages such as Visual Basic, C Sharp, the SQL, uh, SQL syntax, XML, XAML, C++, HTML, and JavaScript. Uh, this is all in already included uh, in the syntax editor control. Another important control that I have used uh, from uh, Essential Studio here is the property grid. A code snippet essentially is made of, uh, requires uh, at least uh, specifying a number of properties uh, such as uh, the author, a description, uh, a keywords, uh, the, the kind of code snippets you are providing, a shortcut that you can use to insert the code snippet quickly. So this control was perfect for my, for my situation. Instead of uh, uh, providing, uh, you know, uh, a text box here, another text box, another text box. This control can be data bound to the .NET class, the C Sharp class that represents a code snippet. So it really makes it easy to store properties for a code snippet in this case. And uh, other controls that I have been using in this project, for example, are data grids which provide me with advanced features for filtering, sorting, and displaying data. So in this particular case, I have an error list uh, here. This, this tool is based on the uh, Roslyn compiler. Roslyn is uh, uh, the new compiler from, from Microsoft, which provides uh, uh, open source compilers with rich code analysis APIs for Visual Basic and C Sharp. And um, you can detect issues, code issues as you type. So as immediately, um, wh when I type, uh, the code editor is able to immediately detect any problems because of Roslyn behind the scenes and all the errors are easily displayed in this data grid that you can also filter and sort and so on. I have used the docking controls which provides me a very easy way to organize the user interface. So for instance, I have these tool windows that I can easily auto hide like this. So to have the uh, um, a larger area for writing my code, 
and then I can simply turn them back. This is this is something that developers using Visual Studio are very familiar with. But this is very very useful because it allows to organize the user interface uh, according to your preferences. And also, you can take a dialog and move it to a different position. OK. Then, what I also did was implementing teams you might not like the default colors I provided for this tool. So you can even set a different theme among a list of uh, built-in themes for um, WPF. So for example, I can use the Blend theme to completely change the layout, or the Visual Studio 2013, or an Office-like theme, and so on. Metro is uh, the one I like most. Another important, yes. It's a very nice looking tool. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. I hope, I think, I think people are finding this tool very useful, at least from the feedback I got so far. So, uh, very nice. And um, another important consideration I want to make about uh, the code editor is that with the uh, with Visual Basic, you can, uh, of course, this is C sharp code, so you can are seeing some errors uh, at the bottom. But um, in the case you select Visual Basic, code snippets provide an option to specify references to external libraries that you need to compile the code snippet once you add the snippet into Visual Studio. But for Visual Basic and C sharp, you can also add a reference to an external assembly, and the syntax editor control will be able to add a real reference to that library and uh, will improve the intelligence as you type, automatically taking the names of the types defined uh, in, uh, in that external library. So uh, another, uh, another interesting feature in the syntax editor control, which I really love. OK, so can you tell us a bit about the long-term benefits or results that you saw using uh, Essential Studio to build your project? Yes. Uh, first of all, I saved a lot of time. Um, I, I think that if I had to build my own syntax editor control, uh, I would probably, it would probably uh, took me uh, many months. Uh, there are some free open source controls for syntax editing, but they are not the same. Here you have full uh, um, compl uh, word completion su support, a number of uh, languages that are supported out of the box. You also have a context menu that is precise for editing, such as uh, increasing indentation, decreasing, uh, or line commenting. Um, this, is, this is the first, uh, the first benefit I got from using this kind of uh, control in this project. And um, about the other controls I used, uh, they also provided a very, very convenient way to store the information, to store and present the information related to uh, creating a code snippet. Um, so uh, I, I think that you know when when you create an open source project, it's something that you that you do in your spare free time, and uh, the time time is very limited. So uh, if you can use some uh, very powerful controls like. Essential Studio, uh, you get a better product, you get a, a, better, uh, a better project with, uh, with uh, uh, limited effort. So um, I, think, uh, I think I can strongly recommend uh, Essential Studio for WPF. Well, thank you. I mean, that's, that's great to see your project. And, uh, you know, of course, we love that you chose Syncfusion for it. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about, or any kind of quick fact, or, or something you're working on uh, currently? Uh, currently, I'm working on a new ebook for the Succinctly series called WPF Debugging and Performance Succinctly. So, uh, 
for uh, WPF developers who are looking, uh, uh, who are having a look to um, uh, Essential Studio for WPF, uh, that book might be useful. And um, I'm currently planning to start a new project based on Xamarin Forms for a cross-platform mobile app, uh, and I will uh, uh, certainly use uh, uh, Essential Studio for Xamarin too. Oh, that's great to hear. Well, I'm sure yeah. everyone will be uh, looking out for your succinctly ebook. Those are, you know, as I said, those are very popular, and you are one of our top authors. So, uh, thank you for taking the time to join us today. We really appreciated it, and um, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you for uh, taking your time for inviting me and for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.